VCR party live. Hey, we're here in uh, Manchester. We're at uh, Pat Pat Patron. Patron. Yep. Yeah, we just finished up a show. Yep. And uh, I'm significantly less drunk than I was last week. I uh, I found it really entertaining how drunk you were last I didn't week. I mean, because like when you're at Fringe, here's the thing: like you're, you're like drunk for most of it. Well, you, you're drunk. I, I'm drunk. Anyway. Like, there's just like beer constantly thrown at you, <laughs> and I have zero restraint. So, but it was, who am I to say no? You, it was slurry, a little bit slurred, but you kept it together. I, wa I, I watched it. I rewatched the episode like for five minutes, and I couldn't stand it anymore. I was like, oh, I'm way too drunk yeah. for that. Yeah. And you say that with a double vodka soda right now. So yeah, but, I think, yeah. Yeah. Lesson, but, lessons learned. But I've learned my tolerance has increased since oh, since coming right. to, to Fringe. Well, so. we're done with the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and this is our first show as part of our UK tour. Yeah. Uh, how do you think Fringe went this year? Uh, I liked it. I liked it better than last year. Last year we did the full month, and it was it was really tough. A to show get every that. night for almost thirty we, days. We, we kind of went insane after a little while. <laughs> like it was, it got bad. And this year we saw other people go insane who had been there for the full thirty days, which we're not used to. Oh, we're used to a boy. week a week long tour or two week yeah. tour. There was one bad moment. We did a showcase where. Uh, this is where you just do like five minutes yeah. at a show. With it was other... actually three minutes. It's called. It was called Fast Fringe, and we did three minutes where we had to just showcase what we do. And we're not like a three minute show. You need to like see the full show to There's understand what's going on. There's a lot of explanation to what we do, so it was tough. It's usually for people who can play guitar and sing funny songs and do stand up and stuff like that. And we got up there. And I don't think I'd eaten all day long, and <laughs> or drank anything at this point. It was. Still I don't early. think. I, yeah, maybe that was yeah. my problem is that I hadn't drunk anything yeah. at that point, and got up and I didn't even know what I was saying. Like I, it was just like I was on you autopilot. Were, were, I was thinking about other things. You're introducing and, Pet Puri, which if you've seen our DVDs, you've seen Pet Puri. It's the pet advice call-in show. Yeah. And so I think I threw it to you, and you're like, yeah. So I. Here's what I said. I said. Uh, here's the story behind Pet Puri. This guy would bring a bunch of different animals down to the public access office. <laughs> Not the studio. And, but an and office. they would watch the videos. They would watch the videos with the. Uh, uh, supposedly, the I guess implication that, was that the, that somebody would show videos to the pets. Yes, it didn't make any sense. And and, and I just kind of gave up halfway through, and I was like, ah, here here's the video. We played the video, and but we played the video on a small TV with no like the audio was so quiet for an audience of people who don't a massive audience. Yeah, but they they they're not there to see. Weird they're there shows. to see three minutes, and it's the gong show, basically. Yeah, and they're there to see shows about the di the differences between people from Glasgow and differences between people in Edinburgh. Yeah, they, they're different. Our show's way different than and everything that was. So anyway, and I and I fucked up the beginning too, so that made things even worse. And they and then then they, there's a video that they can't even see or hear. And the people who did see it saw an animal getting its tongue bit, so we got booed at the end of that. At the end of it, we walked off and we got booed. But and despite that, our show, you know, had a lot of sellouts and we did really well there. It's just this showcase show that was a disaster. I don't think we've ever gotten booed before. Like, I just want praise. All I want is praise. <laughs> we have very weak tolerance. And so when for... somebody boos, I think there were like three or four lads in the way back, uh, and and they booed us, and like uh, it, I lost sleep that night. Yeah. I just want praise. I thought just it say was nice. Things. I thought it was funny immediately, but Manchester I mean, tonight's show went great. And, yeah. Uh, oh had, yeah. Oh, there were some uh, Tedium Corner fans that came up and were like high five me and said, "Joe's Tedium Corner." So like, even in Manchester, there's some Tedium Corner. And they're fans. from they're from rural. So I got my North, praise. I yeah, got my yeah. praise back. Exactly. You got what you wanted. <laughs> they're from rural North England. They drove 50 miles to get here, which in the UK is pretty far. Yeah. And um, also, we met somebody who gave us this tape. Apparently, their grandfather had died recently. Which condolences if you're watching. And they gave us this tape, which he told us they're cleaning out his stuff. And this is the instructional video on how to use one of those chair lifts that takes them up. From, the, from the, Gremlins. Yeah. Well, Remember yeah, this is Dougal. Yeah. The this one that her chair, the Gremlins, like, rewired her chair and if she flew out the window. But this is the instructional video that they thought would be tedious. I didn't even see. Oh, really? Yeah. They thought oh, this see. would be... Tedium Corner fans everywhere. Oh, somebody sent me an email. Hold on. I, let me grab my phone. Okay. Hold on. But you can see how short this tape is. So as if it's tedious, it's got to pack a punch because this is probably a three-minute video. It's, there's not a lot of tape on here. Um, Christopher sent me an email. Subject line was, 
Tedium Corner group names because I've always been trying to find the group name for the Tedium Corner people, and I was I was thinking I was leaning towards like Ted Heads because Tedium Heads. Yeah, but then Ted there's Ted Talks. But yeah, yeah, I know it might get confused. Yeah, this dude came up with six different ideas. I'm gonna read them all to you. All right, let's hear. Okay. Maybe you can vote in the comments. There's some good stuff here. Um, first one, Teddy Bears. You no, know, he says it's pronounced TD Bears. TD Bears. <laughs> I think that's important, the phonetic... I yeah. mean, where do you go from... That's the winner, isn't Teddy it? Bears the TD is Bears pretty great. Um, number two, uh, Tedium Corn Nerds. Not oh, bad. Tedium Not bad. Corn Nerds. Yeah. I get it now. Not yeah, bad. That's great. Uh, Teddy Torches. Or TD Torches, TD Torches. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. TD Torches. More of a reach. Oh, like a tiki torch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's kind of associated with white supremacy now, so it would probably lead yeah, against yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good suggestion, uh, Christopher. Good but one. Yeah, probably yeah. pass on that. Uh, one. Teed pods, teed pods, like Tide pods. Oh yeah, yeah. All the, all the teenagers were doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what <laughs> all the teenagers were doing. It wasn't a news story blown out of proportion. Yeah. Um, let's see. Teed bags. Oh, like a tea bag. Oh, tea, tea bags. bags. Okay, yeah, I just yeah. got that one. Okay, and then oh, this is a good one too. The uh, our our royal teeden bombs. Ooh, so I'm going to be like, hey, this, this next one's for our Royal Teton Bums. Appreciate the effort, Christopher. Probably could have stopped at three, but I think uh, I think TD Bears is, is probably the winner there. I don't know. Let me decide. It's my okay. cor it's my corner. <laughs> let, let me let the blossom, let, right. let, the, let the seed blossom. All right. Well, you guys we'll... vote and let us know in the comments which one you like best. Maybe one of those will we'll take. Yep. Um, we do want to mention that we're here with our, our the person who first brought us to the UK. We didn't have the resources or connections to make this happen. But it was like seven years ago. Seven years eight, ago. Eight years ago. Yeah, a lad named, um, and boy is he a lad. Oh, yeah. Uh, his name's Michael Clapham, and he runs... Well, lads, by the way, if you don't know, lads are... Ra I mean, I, this is my interpretation, is that they're rascals. Yeah, right? they're a bit of a, rascals. A, lad, yeah. a lad's kind of a rascal. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so... Um, but he's also... He's also uh, He's got his shit together, yeah. right? I mean, he's, he yeah. runs Perfect Strangers Comedy, so he books people like David Cross here in the UK. And uh, Michael, come on in here. Here's Michael. Hey, this, is, Michael. This, is our, this is our tour manager. You're in time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, speak, I think most of our fans are most this year. Most of our uh, TD Bears are. <laughs> Catch <in. laughs> Are from the United States, so with your accent, just try to slow it down <laughs> and don't try to, you know. Okay. Dumb it down like you do for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, a bloke in the streets and a lad in the sheets. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, do you want to explain what the bloke is? Do, does everybody know what a bloke is? Um, think tan leather jacket, smoking um, roll-up cigarettes yeah. on the street yeah. at 10 a.m. Yeah. Um, oh, so right away. Doesn't yeah. suffer fools. Yeah. Say it again. You're a what? A bloke in the sheets? I'm a bloke on the streets. And a lad in the sheets. There we go. Okay. All right. Rascal in the sheets. And yeah. I feel like over very the, sexual. <laughs> over, <laughs> over the course of seven years, you, Michael, and Joe have developed sort of a love hate relationship, and it's and it's evolved into a, more and more extreme um, methods of needling each other. Yeah. And uh, so talk about the. Michael, you came to the Midwest and to the South on a tour with us in the United yeah, States. Yeah, we brought we brought him to a Midwestern tour. We started up in Chicago, brought him down to Texas. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's really where the competition began, yeah. right? I mean, never been there before. Uh, you know, uh, strange territory that I thought I'd never go to. And uh, Joe was very accommodating, made me feel comfortable in all scenarios. <laughs> well, um, well, truck stops like we we spend a lot of time at truck stops, and. Um, you know, I don't think they really have it in the UK as much, but they have like roller hot dogs, right? Yeah. You know, just on keeping them warm and on at like a Flying J truck yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my bit, I've been doing this bit since I was in high school, where I would take the roller dogs and I would I would take the hot dogs off there and like slip it into my friend's pockets. Or I found I'm, one in my hoodie one time. I'll do it There's in hoodies. In I'll hoodie. do it anywhere. Yeah. And Michael was was new to the whole thing, and so I was like, oh, let's. I'm gonna get Michael with it, and he was just a sitting duck. He was just <laughs> sitting there, just asking for it. And I put it in his pocket. I don't think you even. 
I was just looking at this. Oh, look how the size of their drinks. Look how much you can. <laughs> it's a culture shock. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, this, what's a big gulp? You have, you have triple extra large t shirts here? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trying them on and yeah, yeah. getting excited. And the, gulp, the gulps are way bigger here. <laughs> yeah. And while you're doing that, I, I slipped like a bratwurst, I think, into like your pocket or something. And oh, well, well, so well, brat, well, bratwurst is a quality German sausage. This was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this is a, a gas station bratwurst. Probably a cheddar filled hot dog. <laughs> First on the for ten it. hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I got that. It, I don't think you gave me the pleasure of knowing that I got you either. I think I don't think you said anything about it. I was waiting for you to say something yeah. about it. Got in the car, and then the jig was up, and then I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that he this, wants a reaction out of it, but you weren't giving it to yeah. him. Yeah. So then, like two nights, three nights later, we we're doing a show in Austin. And we're about to go on, and the big explosion happens. Welcome to the Found Footage Festival. I go to grab my microphone, and taped to the microphone is a hot dog. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a bratwurst or a cheddar-filled something. And I picked it up, and like, I didn't know what to do, because I didn't know if I should tell the audience, but it's an inside joke. So I was like, do I want to tell the audience about an inside <laughs> joke right now? And it was like, we kick off the show. You don't kick it off with an inside joke. So while I, while I was introducing the clip, I You're just like... A, a very greasy, very greasy... Oh, and it was, and it was warm, too. Well, it had yeah. been in my possession for three days, of course. I was playing the long game. So I've got this. It's starting to get a bit gnarly as well. Because, yeah. you know, they don't, they don't age well, do they? Those no, they no. Weren't, it wasn't refrigerated for three days no. on tour. But it was so. still greasy. The grease kept... So that was still didn't get stopped by anyone who was asking, like, you know, search me or anything. Yeah. I just got this hot dog in my pocket. But so we um, had a big, we had a big debate today about like who got who best. I think I got him best with the hot dog in the pocket. I also like his retribution. Because that was theft too. Because exactly, you, didn't pay you, for you, it. you could have gotten deported. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was uh, not me cool. But what you didn't hear was that I'm in the projector room usually on these shows, um, sort of checking everything's going to be okay with the cinematography because these guys are big into cinema. Oh, um, right. Want to yeah. make sure everything's just so. Yeah, you cinematography's the right word. Yeah, Go ahead. thank you. Uh, loudly laughing at you. Because um, oh. <laughs> you. Were, but you were the only <laughs> one. Nobody else knew. No, no, just for me. Just me and you. Yeah, I don't even yeah, think yeah. you. Knew at the time. No, I was an accomplice. Too. Oh, were you? You were an accomplice. Oh, yeah, yeah. we talked about. I think that. I got so, the yeah. electrical tape. I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. yeah. Will yeah. he kill me, or will he sing things as his phone? So that's a check. I did tackle you afterwards. Yeah. I ran out and I like yeah. In the lobby, I'm trying to sell merch as I do, uh, and in my keep uh, <laughs> DVDs. Come and see it. Like you know, using the, hamming up the British thing. Like oh, yeah, buy yeah. some DVDs, governor. And then he just comes flying <laughs> at me like full pelt, like a proper tackle. Uh, and just completely floored me because he's a bit bigger than me and he, he, he likes to throw his weight around. Yeah, so. and, and as we've established, probably drunk at the time. So it was a, <laughs> it's a good, yeah, a it good was chance. an Alamo draft house. So, um, but anyway, uh, Michael has been instrumental in us coming to the UK. It's been part of our regular tours. Um, we're using his Wi Fi to broadcast tonight. So, fiber optic broadband. Yeah. yeah, better than last week. Last yeah. week was rough. Yeah. Oh. Brag, not you spent brag. like a, you spent like an entire day trying I to did. upload that. I did. It was thing like a, a yeah. twelve hour upload. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I, we're excited about this week's uh, pre taped show and tell. We had a filmmaker, Nathan Truesdell, who is a documentary filmmaker, and he made. I think the best found footage documentary. I think it's the best short documentary Period? of all time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you name a better one than Blue I Fest? I can't think of one. And you, have you seen this yet, Michael? No, but makes it, you've told me all about it. You'll see it tonight. Excited. It's yeah. the greatest thing of all time. We yeah. So it's called Balloon Fest. It's about well, we'll you'll see it. It's, but but like the theme tonight is is uh, hubris. It's like his he loves movies about hubris. So. That that's kind of our theme going into this. So we were like, oh, let's show all of our videos that involve hubris in yeah. some way. So. so we'll come back afterwards. But now here's our uh, show and tell, our VHS show and tell with Nathan Truesdell, the director of Balloon Fest. All right, here we are with Nate Tr Truesdell. I don't think I've actually said your name out loud yet. Yeah, Truesdell. 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 Right Truesdell. Keep, yeah. Just keep that up. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So. That's a cool wave. <laughs> Cool wave you got there. Queen of England, I think. I like yeah, it. It's good. And Nate, you directed uh, a documentary we saw uh, called Balloon Fest. But tell us a little bit about yourself. What, what's your background? Um, so I'm a documentary filmmaker. Uh, I live in Los Angeles and uh, have been making documentaries for over 10 years now, just in varying degrees. Where are you from originally? I'm from uh, just outside of Columbia, Missouri, this small town called Clark. 
Okay, all and right. Uh, so we've played the, the True False film. No, what's in Yeah, True False and then uh, what's the... The Ragtag. The Ragtag, rag tag, yes. Yeah. Ragtag Cinema. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good okay. one. Cool. So uh, did you have films then at True False early on, or was this after you moved to L.A. that you started making movies? Um, I, uh, yeah, I played various things at True False. This film played at True False. Um, another film that I made played last year. Um, but I've been involved with the festival in various capacities uh, for the past, like, ten years. Okay, so cool. let, let's watch a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so, we're, so I, I queued up the first half of the movie, the happy half okay, of great. the movie. <laughs> we're we're going to save the, the sad half for people to watch on their own. So nice. uh, do you want to set up the movie, though, at all? Is there anything, uh, or do you think it speaks for itself? Um, I think it speaks for itself if I talk about it too much and give the whole thing away. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's just all watch right. it, and then, yeah, we'll talk about there it There it is, afterward. Balloon Fest. And I'm going to go ahead and say this is my favorite short documentary of all time. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Agreed. All right. Just be patient. Did you mean for it to start off this slow? With the, the black <laughs> yeah, you so far, like Balloon Fest is really, of, uh, it's really boring. Here we go. about 700 balloons or so uh, for the day, and, and we'll do it in about four to six hours, all the balloons. Don't remember, folks, don't park on the square because this ain't the place for your car this weekend. <laughs> Back to you. Sounds like fun, David. Thank you. I understand you. we might have a northerly wind, too, so they'll all wind <laughs> up over Canada. <laughs> this was meant to be on VHS. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks good on VHS, Ladies doesn't it? Good. And the guy's name was Treb, right? <laughs> Treb Heinrich. Treb Heinrich. Yeah. Yeah. In front of the biggest happening in Year round. Okay, thank you, John. And we have a, a real story to tell you. Oh, this is great. not We're not making this up. It's really happened. Mary Ellen bought two bunches of balloons to give to John and I here. She came down, and one of the bunches of balloons she had tied to her watch. And the watch opened up, and uh, the balloons took the watch, and it's now going out east somewhere. So John and I say, if anybody finds Mary Ellen's watch tied to a bunch of balloons like That's this, a real story. if you return it to the station, um, we'll have all kinds of rewards exactly for you. Okay, thanks for coming down, Mary. Who do you have there, John? What is your Kister. name? Tanya. Tanya. Okay, Tanya, Kister. show everybody what you have on your hands there. What are those? Let's say bandages. Okay, and what are they for? Love that shirt. Get them away from sores. Sores from your hand. Okay. Did you get any blisters? Yeah, three. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Are you tired? Children are, children yeah. are getting okay. hurt from this. Okay, Chuck, as you can see, they're going strong. They're blowing them up. I still think they have the record. Back to you, Chuck. Look at the that. first glimpse. <laughs> It doesn't look that good when there's that many. Something that's uh, been in the planning stages since Balloons March are this pretty. Year. So a lot of technical research but too many and research are. through the city permits. Uh, it's endless. It's absolutely astonishing to try and get something like this off, let alone waiting for good weather. So this is a big plus for Cleveland. Oh, it's something that, you know, they predicted 70% chance of showers today. And I think this is a prime example of what United Way is trying to do in terms of saying, it's Cleveland, it's your time. It's time to say yes. It's time to say it is a God, happening God. city. We yeah, are on the moon. It's no longer the butt of jokes or anything. I've been in this city <laughs> it's now. It's no longer the butt of jokes months, anymore. And I absolutely <laughs> love it. Yeah, my wife and I have even talked about moving here. We've talked about moving here. We're not going to. He doesn't actually I live there. Invest. This is where I'd be invested. In. Very, very good. Very good. Thank, Thank you. Trip. Thank you. Okay. Now we were just talking. Ten, nine, eight, seven. the kid in the back. Six. Yeah, Five, four, shirt. three, Look at two, one. So excited. He's like buff, he too. He's like, <laughs> muscles. Oh, my God. I, know, I actually think this is pretty impressive. I mean, it's oh, poor, for sure. It's poorly thought out, which we'll get into, but... <laughs> but listen to him here. It's menacing. God, look at that! I want to sing up, up and away. Yeah, like it comes like its own it organism. It is awesome, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, does. to actually be down here and see the multicolors that are going up in the air at this moment. We did it, John. This is it. Let's do it for Cleveland. Let's do it for Cleveland. on the lake anymore. That's Cleveland the whole thing. has now broken the Guinness Book of World Records and released over 1,500,000 balloons. 
Okay. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> what could go wrong? It's, a, yeah. it's a, beautiful. No <laughs> hint at anything ominous about to happen yeah. at and all. And Cleveland is now known as Balloon City, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no longer the mistake no, of the It's it Balloon, Balloon City. City. They got rid of it. Yeah. So we don't want to say too much because we want people to like see it. We're going to play this at our show. you got to watch show. it. I mean, how long is it? Seven minutes long? Yeah, about. It's like six, actually. Six, six minutes yeah. long? Oh, man. It's so good. You and, pack so much into six yeah. minutes. Yeah, it's six minutes of your life that you're never going to get back. <laughs> and it's all news footage, right? So how, how did you get the news footage? How did that come well, about? So the actually the Big Chuck and Little John stuff, um, they had for like 20 years like an Elvira-style show in Cleveland um, with like skits. And uh, they were playing the Invisible Man during that. So oh, really? Like, oh, they're cutting back and forth. They're cutting back and forth. Was so, it live, though? It said live. Yeah, they were there all day live, like, uh, reporting from there. Okay. Um, so it wasn't actually live, because they were playing it during well, Invisible Man? Yeah, they would cut back to them live. Oh, I see. And then they'd say, all right, back to the Invisible Man. Okay, um, I see. I got you. But since they missed, they actually missed the balloon launch, because they launched it early. So they had, like, timed it all out for television. <laughs> and so they played, like, a tape of it whenever it was live on television. Okay. Um, but and Big oh, Chuck and Little John were the, was the little person. Was he? Was he Big Chuck? Was it was it the ironic thing? Yeah, we no, wondered about it's that. Not. It's uh, okay. yeah, he's Little John. He's they Little just, John. They just okay. went like yeah. straight, like yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. not being cute was... about it. Just no, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but like I mixed them with news footage, so they, uh, I mean, they have microphones and they seem like newscasters, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say I think we should call our show the Big Joe and Little Nick show. I don't agree with. What that. do you think about no, that? No. I like it. I'm not on board. Yeah, uh, but so, seems a little late to change it. Though, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I, know. I uh, but like the other documentaries that you've made, talk, like are they? Do you like using? I don't, I don't want to say found footage, but procured footage. I mean, this you're, is you're all not, found footage, right? Yeah, and you're yeah, not yeah, yeah. in. You don't insert yourself in this. There's no narrator. Like, talk about the decision to do it that way. Well, I, there's a little bit of me in there with the title cards that kind of like right. connect dots and like explain things uh, quickly or explain things that I couldn't find footage for. Yeah. Um, but no, I liked uh, this. Like, I when I started looking for this footage, I found like an hour and a half of footage maybe of the event and it just had everything in there. Oh wow. Yeah, didn't you you told me earlier that you didn't you co contact somebody at the Ohio Film Archive or something or vid TV archive and then they just handed you a tape full of all this stuff. Yeah, basically the I think it's called the Northeast Ohio Archive. Yeah. And they, uh, Northeast Ohio Broadcast Archive. Okay. And they had about 45 minutes worth of footage and the Big Chuck and Little John stuff is on the internet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I want to watch it. So their that. whole broadcast is there. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. How did you hear about this whole thing? I saw, I just saw like one clip of the balloon launch. Um, and then I was like, what the hell is this? And then you start like looking on either side of it, what happened. It's like, this looks like a terrible idea. And yeah. then you look it up and it's like, well, yeah, <laughs> so this it was, was yeah. Yeah, this really completely there, terrible. There's idea. one scene from like a news station. I, I don't know, we want to give too much away, but that ends with a, a, like a police boat looking for dead bodies in the lake. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> and the balloons are, are complicating that search and rescue effort. So there's again, so much I want to say. I don't want to spoil I, yeah, yeah, anything. Again. So just don't. Yeah. So we'll be playing this as, as part of our volume nine show. Yes. And uh, the, the, the good news is that you've given us, well, go ahead. Why don't so you do he, he just brought over today a suitcase full of actual Balloon Fest shirts. Like this is the actual design from Balloon Fest 86. So you see the, the, the woman with blisters on her fingers wearing this. Yeah. A lot of those people are wearing yeah, it. Yeah, everybody had one. Yeah, they're yeah. like the volunteer shirts. I was going to try yeah. to get... Well, no, it's not worth it. I was going to rewind and try to show the shirt, but it's okay. You saw the shirt. It's the exact replica of the shirt, correct? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, um, yeah, so we'll have those for sale on the website at some point. We'll be selling them at our live shows, and I think they look great. I <laughs> yeah, think, thank uh, you. Yeah, nice work. Uh, Sarah Ginsburg. Nice oh, job. Yeah? That's who did the, the design. Yeah, it's, it's like an exact replica. So if you love Balloon Fest like we do, you'll wear these shirts with pride. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go to our website, get the Balloon Fest shirts. But we have other things to show you. Okay, so speaking of newscasters, we decided to put together a little show, an old montage that we had played, maybe like volume six of our show, um, where we got footage from some guy after a show handed us this footage from Coin Television in Seattle. Oh yeah, uh, Portland actually. No, I think it was Seattle. Really? Yeah, oh Coins yeah, Coins Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, yeah, right. Because remember he was traveling down yes, to Portland. Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, and so yeah, and I don't know if it was a former employee. I don't know what it was, but it was very secretive. And he was like, "You can't tell anybody. I gave you this. 
I just got it from my roommate or something. I don't know. It was like <laughs> somebody worked at the station at one point, I think, and then gave it to him. I, anyway, could have been fired for it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Um, we got the footage though, and so I thought uh, you might appreciate some uh, local news. Oh yeah, I love local news from uh, Coin Television in Seattle. What did we drop? Thirty-six. What happened to thirty-six? What happened to thirty-six? I don't know. God <laughs> damn it! What happened to thirty-six? Well, no one said a damn thing to me. So I'm sitting here like an asshole, ready to go to it, and we pop out, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's like a Bill O'Reilly will do it live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm just pissed. Yeah. God, Jimmy, did you not know that game. we had the drop? I'm sitting here ready to go to 36. Okay. We pop out on camera. I have no fucking idea what's going on. Get it together. There he is, our hero. Okay, so I'm sitting here going, just make sure you let us know. Game on 36. Okay. Is this out now? Is Cougar out? I think it's... Cougar's out. Well, God damn it! God, I come here prepared, and I don't like when we pop. Now I'm sitting here confused. We're popping out of camera. What's next? What happened to 36? Happens a lot. That's impressive. God damn it! In <laughs> ratings, we can't job. happen. Uh -huh. Yeah, local, local news. news. Yeah. yeah. But God damn it! Real professional here. Watch it. Try to figure out what he says here. They do home plays magazine. <laughs> Get your home planet magazine. Yeah, that's <laughs> what he's saying. I don't know. That's okay, a miserable, magazine. miserable coworker. <laughs> like, yes. Nothing to talk about. Now it's thriving in Oregon. Over 300 players comprise the Portland Summer League. Okay. okay. Now Why do they see me put my mic on you? Get the thing, then don't kill it. I know. I know. God I know. dang it! I'm really on a war path. Yeah. And then I tell them three times to go from still store to still <laughs> store. <laughs> Classic moment. Classic. <laughs> nice. Thanks for being with us tonight, everybody. We'll see Look, you back here at eleven. Yeah, you can yeah. see the uh, below the desk. <laughs> Real happy, happy <laughs> news team. One big happy news team. Whoever <laughs> threw the mic. Whoever acquired that did like a. I'm really proud of them. Oh, because that's like yeah. super rare material. There. You can't find that anywhere. Right. No. Yeah. It, no, no, no. We had a DVD of like an hour's worth of just outtakes. It was almost like meeting out. Deep Throat, though. You know, yeah. it was like totally. we had to meet after the show Real in the back alley. And it yeah. was like handing us the tape. Yeah, and it was couldn't like, reveal our source. You know, it was a lot of <laughs> the stuff. full tape is so much longer too. I mean, there's like 45 minutes of yeah, stuff, but that's the, that's I the cream of the crop. The yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll let you I love it. like the, to see how newscasters are when the cameras go off. Uh, that's one of my favorite things. So, oh yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Well, I, I love the uh, news footage in Balloon Fest though. At the beginning with like. Uh, what were their names? Did they have names or? Um, oh, I'm don't. thinking of I'm thinking of Treb. Yeah, Treb. Oh, yeah. Treb the, uh, balloon the balloon. Yeah. yeah, the balloon guy. Makes this look easy. Yeah. Well, was that from news or was that from the Elvira show? Was that? Uh... That uh, was from news. Yeah. That was from news. Okay. Oh, that yeah. classic yeah. news set with just it just looks like. Oh like right, it when could they just cut... fall over. Yeah, yeah and they, it, yeah, it looks completely fake, and I don't even understand how they did like the picture in picture there. Oh yeah, that's um, right. It looked like a, a blue screen, but who yeah, knows? probably was. That was yeah. in '86 then, right? Yeah, obviously, Blue yeah. Fest '86. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maybe they had the technology. Yeah. Well, what was the next thing we were gonna show? Oh, I think uh, your your thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, we know that you are a documentary filmmaker, um, and I wanted to play you a documentary that we found that I think, well, no, I'll, I'll play it. Some guy gave this to us in Kentucky after a show. It's a documentary called Urine, colon, Good Health. Yep. Oh yeah, we, oh, yeah, with, we made koozies Yeah, of we it. made canned koozies You're familiar with, with the koozie, not the movie, right? I bet, yeah. right? Okay. More of, more, I've seen the koozie, I haven't yeah. seen the film All right, so you're You've a koozie, used the koozie. <laughs> you're a koozie fan already, but you will soon become... Uh, a, oh, I just noticed the side actually has a glass of urine on that. I never noticed that. So you're like, where is your good health uh, on the shelf? Ah, oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Oh, that's going to move some copies, glass too. Glass of urine, yeah. yeah. Wow, I so, think I know where this is headed. Yeah, so this is a documentary. Well, I'm just going to play you the first couple minutes of this. And How long is it? It's like... It's, uh, I think, an hour. Okay. It's an hour. I've watched the whole thing, and it's all pretty much all talking head. Um, but it is about a subject where they just kind of let people talk. They, they don't uh, pass any judgment. In fact, I think they, 
the documentary almost takes an advocacy stance on this particular issue. Uh, play a little nice. bit. This is oh, a beer, can, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. All yeah. right. So. I go and pee and I take a little glass and the first thing I do in the morning, I just drink it. Wait, wait, but, I drink by my the way, urine. this isn't an edit. <laughs> I'm just playing you. I, I'm oh, playing. This is just, a, just where it's where. Th this, where it is, this is their edit. Yeah, this, this isn't is, your edit. This is the okay. beginning yeah. of the tape. I'm not. I, I was looking for a clip. <laughs> Wait, to, this is how the movie starts. Yeah, oh, I, was look, the I was looking for a clip to play, and I'm like, nope. I'm just gonna play the first few minutes. So. P and I take a little glass, and the first thing I do in the morning, I just drink it. I drink my urine every morning. I'll uh, maybe put it on my skin, on my face, on you know, my hands. I bathe in my own urine every day. <laughs> whatever I, whatever I've collected, I because I always have these jars going. I just throw it in my bathroom. I put it in droppers. Yeah. I put it in my eyes. Sort of my eyes are clear. Yeah, they have a Vision's they clear. have a support um, group for urine nostrils. therapy. So maybe if you need a support group urine. for your. I carry my own little bottle. This contains a little bit of urine and a tablespoon of water. I take a couple of drops of this mixture and I apply it under my tongue. Where most signs say please don't pee in the pool, ours is please pee in the pool. <laughs> I love this guy. Seven, Kevin, Kevin Soli. Soli. <laughs> it's spelled Kevin, Kevin with wrong. A C. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That might be the weirdest part of this whole tape. <laughs> <laughs> like Cambilio. Is it, I think is this is an original. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what was it, wait? What was Kevin Soling's role? I don't yeah, know. <laughs> He's presenting it. If you're drinking your own urine, it's good oh, to drink fresh wear a shirt, urine. Buddy. The first part of the urine that comes out, what you just let it go, so it doesn't taste this guy's strong trustworthy. because the toxins are usually heavy. <laughs> so they everybody's name the, wrong. The need of the blood <laughs> on, the, on the bottle. The taste of urine is depending upon what you've had for dinner or your previous meal. Uh, if you've had a highly acidic meal. The urine is more salty and metallic. If it is, if you've had a vegetarian or primarily an alkaline diet, then the uh, the urine is almost neutral. I could watch this whole thing right now. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm learning diet, a lot about science. You yeah. take Coke, you drink Coke the day before, it will be terrible. So this is a good way of going into a healthy lifestyle because it really teaches you. Some people say, oh, don't you chill it, put it in the refrigerator, or put ice, and mix it with juice. I just drink it straight. Many people will even He's a firefighter here. New York City firefighter. It's recommended in taking the urine therapy. Where, that you how, only drink your what own year was this made? Don't take anybody else's. I'll look at the Unless cover. it's somebody very, very sick, oh, and then they would take the urine of a, a baby of their own sex. If the only thing that we recommend is... All right, I think that's a good place to end. No. If, if you... If if you're sick, you shouldn't drink your own urine. You should drink the urine of a baby of your own gender. Right. Oh yeah, that's facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, facts. I, take doing one of the opposite gender would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, everyone knows that actually. Oh uh, yeah, you this guy, into... Yeah. So this thing, it's like that for uh, another fifty-five minutes or so. Wow. Um, have, have you? Have either of you? I'll, I'll throw this at both of you. I think you know where I'm going to ask here. Have either of you tasted your own pee before or drank it? No. Yeah. I'm have you tasted no. it? I, no, I think I understand what it tastes like, just yeah, based on the smell, based probably. On the smell, yeah. yeah, I feel like I've had some go in my mouth before. Though. How? Maybe it was on my hand when, <laughs> and, and then I was just like, uh, um, I'll do it, and it was like, oh, it's salty. Really? I've never tried did it. You feel, and, did you feel better afterwards? Like, did it cure any? I didn't uh, feel bad afterwards. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so, at one point, they say one thing you can prove me wrong. Right? <laughs> one thing they do, they say in here is that you can put your urine in a. In a, uh, it just keeps getting more insane. Like somebody's like, I've injected into my veins. Yeah. And uh, and then some guy said that he, you can just leave a jar of urine sitting out, or put it in a in a pan and put it on a boil a, it. A, low, a boil it. And he says, and then you breathe the vapors. And he said the only downside is it might smell a little bit. <laughs> well, that's a huge downside. Come into your like, home. Yeah. No, but honestly, there's like there's one person who's like, I take a diaper and I rub it on my face, a baby's diaper that has pee in it and rub it on my yeah. face. And one guy said, yeah, he injects it into his skin. Yeah. So we've described this as a literal pissing contest because yeah. they're yeah. just trying to outdo they're each other. They're all trying to outdo each other. How gross. Well, so I asked like what year it's made because how do you find so many people to drink their it's own 99. piss? It's 99. In 1999. 1999. Yeah. I guess so there's like a Without movie. an internet culture, yeah. yeah. How do you um, support groups, I and, guess. And the, uh, the uh, production company behind it was Mad Dog Films. <laughs> oh, <no>. So yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Mad Dog Films to be. It, it, it is fascinating. I'll give them that. So, so Yeah. Um, I, I don't know like if the cover has everybody just drinking their own pee on it. Uh, 
I mean, when you boil your own urine, everyone knows that that like keeps evil spirits away. Of right? course, that's just common so, knowledge. So, so the, you get a Mad Dog deeper. Films also did uh, two other controversial topics, including a hole in the head, which I bet is about trepanning. Yeah, I, I bet. I bet they did. Oh I could God. see them doing something like yeah. that. And a matter of life and breath. Oh, what do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. We got to order that right now. Let's go to look up Mad, Mad Dog Mad. Films. But if you're looking for a subject, I feel like there's a lot more to explore with the drinking. What, what about like what, maybe like tear drinking? Maybe you like go for <laughs> you know different yeah. bodily fluid drinking. So even if that subculture doesn't exist, I think just start shooting a documentary and see what happens. I would definitely make a documentary about people drinking their own piss. All right. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Happy I've turned you on to that. <laughs> it all started here. Uh, okay, next one. Um, actually, you told me about this one over text yesterday. Uh, you said it was the greatest hubris story of all time. You're a big oh, hubris yeah. guy. You love hubris yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. This is, uh, I mean, this clip, uh, it, it has everything that you need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we can tell you the title. Uh, we don't yeah, want to yeah, the too title, much. The title is actually like important to yeah. this. Yeah, what is, what is it called? It's called... Uh, it's called uh, Bear on Bike Eats Monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, and I Have transferred it. No, I haven't. I transferred it from internet to VHS. So I'm getting on my phone for a reason. So. Okay. Here it is. There's the bear on the left. There's the monkey down there. I'm actually very impressed that they got the bear to ride a bike and the monkey too, but there's, mostly the bear. There's two monkeys. If you see. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's hubris because humans think they can just make animals do what they whatever they want to. Like, oh, this will be funny for humans to watch. Right. Well, I always feel like it's like they're very super confident about something. Oh, look, that monkey That monkey made the best move right yeah. there. The bear really takes him on the fourth turn there. Yeah. And there oh, it is. Oh, boy. And uh, we... Also hubris with whoever's shooting this. Yeah, yeah, like, we cut uh, it off a little early. Yeah, <laughs> cut it off a little early. Before the that, streams like. of horror started, but yeah. So uh, I did a little too much research on that. Oh, yeah, let's hear it. Okay. Um, was it China? It was, uh, yeah, it's like Shanghai An Animal Park or something. Um, and that video, like, there were, like, calls for the place to be shut down. Like, what the hell is this? Yeah. And the Animal Park actually responded with, uh, this was a quote from them, Monkeys are good at climbing and imitating, while bears have good stamina. This is an example of the zoo's initiative to keep them healthy through exercise. Uh, that's right. Because <laughs> the easiest way to do that is to put them on bikes. On now. bikes. Go yeah. around you in Get a little cardio. Right. And they're like, as long the as bear. they're getting this cardio, let's invite some people in and charge some admission. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just okay. witnessing a natural behavior of these animals. <laughs> that is the most pathetic but it honestly, way it, to cover up their hubris. It goes on wrong. for another minute. I mean, I yeah. cut it off a little short. Yeah. It's a, yeah. But, Apparently uh, the monkey survived. Did it? So, yeah. Okay, oh, did good. he? Oh, oh okay. that's good. That's it's a lot happy of, ending. That's a lot but it would took a lot of them like tearing it apart from yeah, the yeah, and like whipping the bear with something. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. And then the people, the like people were laughing when they were all in the bikes going around. I mean, I was too. Yeah. Uh, then dead silent at the end. Of, the last minute is just dead silent. Yeah. yeah. And so, what? But what is it about this folly that so like fascinates you? Like. Well, for like Balloon Fest, they had this huge big idea that they, they went with. That's an example of hubris, and then it went horribly wrong. This, obviously, what, 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 what is it? There's, I mean, there's just something great about like comedically bad ideas. <laughs> yeah. Um, where yeah. you're like, oh, this is obviously a bad idea. Um, but then people just do it anyway. Right. right. So yeah. the idea that you're like, first of all, going to train two monkeys to ride little monkey-sized bikes <laughs> and then train a giant bear to do it and then have them race against each other? Like, how could that go wrong? Yeah. Right. And then it does go wrong, and then it's like, well, yeah. of course. Of course. could have seen this coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, like, something beautiful about it. Like, the balloon launch is, like, you know, like, I've never seen anything like that before. Right, and yeah. It's, like, so dumb and made it through so many people. And right. So the, the Hindenburg, of course, is yeah, the one of the original beautiful. Folly videos. Yeah. yeah. But especially um, when they're trying to make a buck off of it. Like yeah. what, right. the, what the, 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 the bear and monkey, they were trying to make a buck. They're trying to make some money off of that. I mean, Balloon Fest, I guess their heart was in the right place, right? Yeah. I mean, like they were trying to... Well, that was a fundraiser. Oh, okay. And they're making, oh. breaking a Guinness record. They're trying to... Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so we have. Oh, oh, and behind you is another uh, the the rejuvenic face mask here. Oh I thought, yes. I thought of that while we were watching that. This is another thing where somebody tried to make a buck off of making your face beautiful. Yeah. And uh, you put it on your face with some gel and um, it shocks it, your it face. It shocks, shocks your you face. into yeah. being beautiful. So. And they were nice. 
sued because it was scarring people's faces. Yes. <laughs> wow. And I was going to suggest maybe you do a documentary on the rejuvenated yeah. face mask. Yeah. That's a good one. Linda Evans was the spokesperson, too. Oh, She's nice. on all so the they covers. they have like a I, bunch of infomercials? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that they modeled the face, that face, off of Linda Evans's face. Oh, wow. So I don't know if you've face. seen Linda Evans, but she is blue. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, doesn't, and has giant eye holes. Yep. Yeah, yep. she has giant eye holes, too. So. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to leave with the, this. This is another hubris one. Um, I can say a little bit about this. So I worked at the Letterman show, and Kelly Ripa was on as a uh-huh. guest uh, from what's that show? Live with Regis and Kelly Ripa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was trying to find some old footage, old embarrassing footage of her to like show on the show. And she was apparently a regular dancer on a local Philadelphia dance show called Dance Party USA. And then it was syndicated eventually. And uh, so, and she had talked about it, saying like she was kind of chunky during it, and this was like the '80s. So I tracked, I talked to the people who produced Dance Party USA, and they sent me a bunch of footage. And so I, there was footage of her doing like an abra, ab, the song Abracadabra, and she was a magician doing it. Uh huh. It wasn't that interesting. But then I watched this, and I. But they included this on yeah. that tape. It was Not, a longer reel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just it just happened. It like just they didn't. they weren't like, oh, we should show them this. No, it was no. just it happened to be on that. They tape. wouldn't have wanted this to get in my hands, and yet it did. <laughs> and then I immediately showed it to. And Joe. we showed it in our volume one like fifteen years ago or so, and oh, like wow. we forgot about it. And then when we were planning for you to come in, we're like, oh, we got to put it on Wild in the Streets. Oh, yeah. nice. Yep. Yeah. So you'll see what happens in this. Uh, it was a, a lip sync portion of dancing. Okay. Dance yeah, we're party definitely going to get an email from YouTube for playing this too. So. There's some copyright infringements here. Yeah, everybody's having a good time. Oh, wow. What could go wrong? They're on risers. Crowd's going wild. Love that move. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nope. There we go. Yep. There you go. There you have it. Wild in the streets. And yeah. he, well, I kind of want to replay it because you can see what he does. He's kind of doing a cool move, and he thinks, "Oh, I'll just go down well, to the floor." I don't, from I don't know if he passes out before his head hits the. His oh, his head, head hits, hits the. Well, thing. I, it's the but, riser. But like, why what does he fall down? He's spinning, and is he's he trying like, to be. Yeah, he's like. I've, I wondered if he passed out there though. I think he's just like I'm going to collapse because I, you know. Oh, he's just he's like spinning and, and like yeah, and I'm gonna go down and sing from the last note. Oh, he his head there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. And, and he then must, he's out. <laughs> he's out. And, cold. His, his, and he gives him a high five as if like yeah. Do you think, do you think <laughs> he's it could be he's playing it up and he's joking right now. No it? way. Then why why would yeah. the guy he barely knows come over and check on? <laughs> the guy's <laughs> right, like yeah, I'll like I'll play manager. guitar. Yeah, yeah, Wild yeah. in the Streets, Dance Party USA, 1987 or 8, I think that was. That's beautiful. Yeah. What, yeah. what the hell was that show? It was like kids, it was like... It was uh, like a Dance Party USA, what was it called? Yeah, uh, Dance Party no, USA. No, American Bandstand. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was American like Bandstand. that. So yeah. it was like, yeah, kids dancing to the latest hits. Sometimes the artists would be there, and then they would do a little... They would do a part where they would lip sync to a popular song of the day as well. Oh, wow. And so that was... The Kelly Ripper Abracadabra, we could show that, but who cares? No. Uh, <laughs> wild in the streets is was the money shot. So what are you us. what are you working on now? What do you got you got oh you got the, the water slide movie coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been uh it's a much darker version of hubris. Oh it is. There. Oh, um yeah. uh yeah, about the, the world's largest water slide where uh, a, a a child ends up dying on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> very uh pretty brutal. Right, okay. but but again, they tried to do this and uh, make the world's largest water slide to say they did, and skipped a bunch of safety regulations. Yeah, basically the all the safety regulations, <laughs> and they're now uh, uh, they both been in, uh, both of the, the designers have been indicted for murder. Oh my really? God! Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that is well, an extreme. Is this example. Uh, documentary? Is it all found footage too? Yeah. Or is it? Yes, okay. It is. But the, the the story's not over yet. It just uh, keeps going. Oh, really? Like, uh, it's it'll be interesting to see what like goes down at the court case with these these guys. Like, okay. Five park employees are like indicted on wow. separate so th- charges. This could be a feature length movie, then, huh? It could. Yeah. It could be. Let's see where it yeah. goes. And how can people find out more about what you're doing? Um. Well, that film is currently playing at a bunch of festivals. 
Uh, oh great! Around the uh, US. oh the water slide. Yeah, the water slide. Okay. Is that it's called the water slide? It is called yeah. the water slide. Okay. Um, but besides that, I mean, I don't have a website or anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can, yeah. I don't know. Just you can email do, me. You can Google. Yeah. How do we find you? I think we. Yeah. I don't know. You're easy to find. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. easy to find. Um, all right, Balloon Fest t-shirts. Yes. Um, Definitely pick up a balloon fest shirt. You're in good health, koozies. I mean, look at <laughs> yeah. We're we're selling stuff. It's here. a big commercial. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah. We're thanks. gonna get our comeuppance at some uh, point, yeah. right? Like, look at us, all confident, showing these fun videos, and then like, yeah, the camera's gonna fall on us. Be the ultimate right? hubris. All right. Uh, thanks for coming in. Really yeah, appreciate thanks for having it. Us. And we look forward to seeing your next stuff. Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate Nate. It. Thank you to Nathan Truesdell, who was great, and uh, I loved watching those hubris videos with him. It was a lot of fun. We could do a whole second episode on that. Oh, yeah. And he's still working on way more stuff, too. Yeah. So, um, all right. We're, if you're oh, watching yeah. live, we have some more tour dates here in the UK, so tell your friends. Or, yeah, or we're doing your... Bristol tomorrow night, and we're doing two nights in London this weekend. So tell your London pals about that. Um, and then we wanted to leave you with like, so we're in close quarters a lot. Like the three of us are constantly like this <laughs> close together at all times. And uh, Michael's always taking phone calls and he has like a normal voice. And, uh, but when he says bye to people, he always like goes up three octaves. So he's always like, all right, well, it was good talking to you. Bye. It's a British thing. <laughs> it's not just you. It's like, this is how, well, maybe do. I do it. Maybe. I haven't heard any other yeah. British people. <laughs> yes, you have. Do right. it at all. So. so next week we'll be live from our offices in Brooklyn. Yes. But until then, bye! bye.